The search for Kyle Doan today marks day four in the search near San Miguel. The five year old was swept away by floodwaters when he and his mother became trapped in their vehicle as they attempted to cross over a low water crossing on San Marcos Road. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz has been following this story since the beginning and has more from today's search. Hundreds of people are now involved in the search for five year old Kyle Doan. Twelve dozen. Slow-co donuts. Community members wanting to help in any way possible. Just wanted to do a little to help in this nightmare. I think the whole community is really hurting for this poor family. Search operations growing in numbers. A search of this size is, is massive. And to do a detailed search of every individual area so we literally leave no stone unturned uh, results in the need for significant resources. The call for help answered by many law enforcement agencies statewide and the California National Guard. It's hard. A lot of my soldiers do have kids. A lot of my soldiers have kids around that age. Um, and you know that just motivated them a little bit more. Um, to help out the local sheriffs here trying to find the child. Over 200 personnel with about 120 members from the National Guard, search and rescue and dive team members. And canine units present in what Slow County Sheriff's Office describes as a detailed search for Kyle. Every pile of debris, every area of the bank that was not uh, we weren't able to search during the three previous efforts because uh, of the the way the brush was compacted or the way the terrain was laid out. The detailed search includes the entire creek area from where Kyle was last seen all the way up to the Salinas River, turning over every piece of rock and debris along the way. San Luis Obispo County Sheriff officials say they have located several items from the car Kyle and his mother were in, leading them to believe they are searching the right areas. In Paso Robles, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. The sheriff's office says until Kyle is found, this will be an open missing persons case. They will assess how and where they continue the search depending on the progress made today and what weather conditions permit.